you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and a Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now you guys, on this video, I am going to make a drink that is very popular in the Caribbean. I have recently discovered that it is also very popular in certain African countries and basically it is a drink that is made of the dried or fresh um, hibiscus flower blossoms. And in Jamaica, in the Caribbean, they call it sorrel. In certain parts of the French Caribbean, I believe, they call it Roselle or Rosella. And if I'm not mistaken, in certain African countries, they call it Zobo or Zobolo. I'm not sure. But by all means, go ahead and do your own research because that is what I did. Honey, I watched a truckload of videos right here on YouTube to teach me how to make this drink the right way because I'm not here to do anybody's culture any injustice, okay? This is not a drink that I grew up with. This is not familiar to me. Although, I have to say that when I showed my aunt in Suriname, the sorrel that I purchased in Brazil, of all places, um, one of our neighboring countries, by the way, I showed her the dried sorrel that I purchased over there, and then she said, um, well, we also have it up here. It is called Shuru. I'm like, I was born and raised in the Republic of Suriname, and I have never in my entire life seen sorrel in my country. And I know a thing or two about cooking and food. So she said, well, this is something of recent years, but it's here, it's in abundance up here. I'm like, well, the next time I'm in Suriname, my suitcase will be packed, just an FYI. Now, I have to say that I was introduced to the sorrel drink by watching videos by two of my YouTube friends. The first sorrel drink video that I saw was by my friend Shamion. Her channel name is Food by Shamion. She's from Trinidad and Tobago, and she did her version. Now, she did the boiled version, the cooked version, and then, as I became friends with Debbie from West Indian Delights, she's from Jamaica, she did the Jamaican version, and she did the steeped version. All right? So, on my video, I'm going to do my version. I'm going to steep it. And, like I said, I'm not here to do anybody's culture any injustice. I hope that you will appreciate the effort, and I hope that you will appreciate the fact that I tried something from your neck of the woods. Because that's what I like to do. Okay? Now let's get to it. Okay, you guys, so as I just mentioned, I have watched a truckload of videos on YouTube on how to make this sorrel drink, which is very popular in Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and other Caribbean countries, but it is also very popular in African countries. Now, let's move on to the ingredients, but first of all, you're gonna need a nice jug, a nice container, like this one. Moving on to the bay leaves, and some people use cinnamon leaves for this drink. I don't have access to cinnamon leaves, so hence the bay leaves, which I've also seen in one of these videos. People use bay leaves also. We have some cloves right here. We have some orange peel over yonder. We have some cinnamon bark right there. The star of this drink, the dried hibiscus um, flower blossoms. And of all places, I found these in Brazil. Now, I spoke to my aunt a couple of weeks ago, and she tells me that these are available now in my country. I had no clue. I was born and raised in the Republic of Suriname. I have never, ever, ever seen them. So when I go back home, I am going to bring back a truckload of these things because it is delicious, I can tell you that much. Now, last but definitely not least, we're also going to add a nice chunk of ginger to the drink, and whether you grate it or crush it, it will still give the drink the zing that it deserves. So I have seen people boil the sorrel, and I've seen people steep the sorrel. I am going to steep mine, and to my jug, I'm going to add the um, sorrel blossoms the hibiscus flower blossoms, just like so. To do that, I'm going to add the boiling water. There we go. And this is about a liter and a half of boiling water, you guys. Next, I will be adding the orange peel. And as you can see, the water is already starting to take on that dark, rich red color. Now, next, what I'm going to add are two bay leaves. I'm also going to add a couple of cloves. Here we go. Next, I'm going to add my cinnamon bark. And I like to break mine just to make sure that all the flavor is extracted. And last, but definitely not least, I'm going to add my crushed ginger. 
There we go. All right, now let's give this a nice stir. Honey, let me tell you, this is looking good. It is smelling good. Mm, mm, mm. Now let me try to give you a close-up of what it is that we're working with. Do you see that dark, that deep, that rich red color? Baby, let me tell you, this is going to be good. And by the way, I am using two packs of these and they're 10 grams each, okay? That will generate this deep, rich color. Oh, baby, look at this. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm going to allow this to steep overnight and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. I cannot wait. Okay, you guys, so my sorrel has steeped overnight and I just took it out of the fridge and I've seen videos on YouTube where people would allow the sorrel to steep up to four days. I don't have that amount of time. You have to be very serious about your sorrel if you let it steep for four days, okay? But to each his own. So next what I'm going to do, I am going to pour this into a container because we have to strain it, you know, to get rid of all the ginger and the orange peel and all of the other ingredients. So what I have here is my bowl and my strainer. So now we are going, oh, look at that color. We are now going to strain this. Honey, let me tell you, look at that. Can you see that? No, you can't. But honey, look at this. Look at all that pulp. Now, before I pour the rest of it into my container, I am going to use my um, cocktail, um, whatchamacallit, I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to use this to press out, to squeeze out all of the flavor of these sorrel blossoms. Here we go. Now, let me go ahead and pour this into the strainer. And I just want to say thank you to Shamion and Debbie for, you know, introducing me to this delicious drink. And everybody else, by the way, on YouTube. Because like I said, I have watched a ton of videos. Now this is what the um, hibiscus flower blossoms look like. Well... <laughs> These are dried ones, but I'm sure the fresh ones look different, but they come with, um, they're somewhat of a stone, like a pit, a stone in here, and then you have to remove it, and you end up with the, um, with the flower. And this is what they used to make this drink with. Honey, let me tell you, it smells delicious. All right, you guys, so now it is time to sweeten this drink with some sugar or some honey or maybe even some agave syrup if you so desire, but be mindful of your sugar intake, all right? Now, before we move on, I just want to give you another glimpse of this color. It is such a beautiful, dark, rich, deep reddish color. I love it. And as you have seen earlier in the video, I've only used 20 grams of sorrel, okay? Now, obviously, the more sorrel you use, the darker the color will get, all right? So, let me go ahead and add the sugar. And like I said earlier also, this is about a liter and a half of water um, with 20 grams of the sorrel blossoms. Now, let's give this a nice stir. And I've used about 150 grams of sugar, you guys. But if that is too much for you, or if that is too little for you, adjust to your own taste. Okay, you guys, so now for the serving suggestion, we are going to pour some of our delicious sorrel drink into our mason jar. Ooh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Doesn't that look gorgeous? 
And now for my own personal touch, I'm gonna garnish my sorrel drink with one of those blossoms. Doesn't that look festive? I think it does. Now speaking of festive, you guys, this is a traditional Christmas drink in the Caribbean and the people would add some rum or some Angostura bitters to theirs. I don't drink any alcohol, so mine is gonna stay as is, all right? And that concludes my sorrel drink. Baby, let me tell you, it is delicious. If you can find these dried hibiscus flower blossoms in your neck of the woods, you really have to give this one a try because it is very, very good. Don't go crazy with the sugar because nothing ruins this more than an overkill of sugar, I find. Okay? And if you drink any alcohol, go ahead and add some. Mm -hmm. I don't drink any alcohol, so mine would be a virgin sorrel. Okay. Anyways, you guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. I want to wish you a happy day, happy weekend, happy cooking, happy eating. Don't add crazy to the craziness. Happy sorrel drinking. And I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.